Hi everyone. In this video I'll be doing a demonstration of a practice called joints and glands. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this video is because in the last video, uh, which was titled I think Introduction to Yoga Nidra, I mentioned this practice uh, as a preparation for Yoga Nidra, specifically a preparation for lying down in Shavasana corpse posture for a long period of time. In the beginning, lying down in corpse posture for say an hour or more than an hour can be difficult. It can cause uh, pain in your body, uh, subtle tensions coming out and manifesting as pain. So I mentioned there joints and glands practice as one of the ways to prepare your body and help you to overcome those obstacles. Uh, so then I got a few requests for a video showing joints and glands. So that's what this is. Uh, so now joints and glands is one of the quite traditional physical yoga practices and uh, it's good for everyone. It's really good as a preparation for your uh, practice of classical asanas. So if you do a classical asana sequence practice regularly, then joints and glands is a wonderful way to prepare your body uh, to remove subtle tensions in your body to be able to do those asanas more easily and comfortably. Uh, it's also a really good practice for anyone who has less physical capacity. So if you're, for example, an older person or someone who has physical challenges, then joints and glands is something really good to practice to uh, develop and increase your physical capacity. And it's something that can be practiced at some level by almost everyone. Uh, so in this video, the demonstration is about 15 to 20 minutes long. Uh, it will start with Makarasana corpse posture, sorry, Makarasana crocodile posture, um, which you do to establish your natural diaphragmatic breath. And then you carry that natural relaxed diaphragmatic breath all throughout the practice of joints and glands. And one of the most important things in this practice, one of the most important elements is to harmonize your breath and your breath awareness with your movement. So you feel the flow of your breath and then you allow your body to follow the flow of your breath. So it's as though your breath is leading your body, your body is just following your breath. And when practiced like that, it really becomes a practice of deepening the subtlety of your breath awareness and um, then going in the direction of the awareness of the flows of subtle energy in your body. Uh, so it becomes a kind of practice of moving meditation. Uh, and in this video, it will be a relatively short one, 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, in your own practice, you can take that long if you want. Otherwise, you can take longer if you're really getting into the flow of your breath and your body and your mind all moving together. You can do the practice for uh, an hour or even more than an hour. Uh, so it's also a beautiful preparation for meditation and a perfect preparation for all of those subtle body practices and yoga nidra practices in Shavasana. So hope you enjoy it. And here it is, joints and glands. Begin Makarasana by lying on your front in a comfortable position. When you're ready, spread your legs a comfortable distance apart, rotating inside to outside at your hip joint so that the inside of your feet rest on the floor. Then bring your arms in front of your body, hands resting inside the elbows, and your forehead resting on the top forearm. Make sure that you're not too strongly backward bending, and also not completely flat, but just with the upper portion of your chest lifted off the floor. Then relax your whole body and feel the flow of your breath. 
Allow your breath to flow freely. As your breath flows, feel the movement of your breath in your body. Gentle expansion and contraction at your navel center, the center of your abdomen. You may also feel natural, gentle expanding, rising and falling at your lower back and at the sides of your lower ribs. Whatever you feel, just allow your breath to flow and watch the movement of your breath. When you're ready, you can stretch your arms over your head, rest one cheek down to the floor, again relax completely and stay with your breath. When you're ready, you can bring your legs to rest comfortably together. Rest your arms down by your sides. Change your cheek and rest the other cheek. And again, stay with your breath. Keep watching your breath. Finally, when you're ready, stretch your left arm over your head, roll onto your left side, rest there for a moment, and then slowly, gently come up to your sitting posture. Sit comfortably and just feel the flow of your breath as it was flowing when you were in Makarasana. So begin by just feeling the calm, relaxed flow of your natural diaphragmatic breath. When you're ready, bring the roots of your thumbs to the center of your forehead. And as you exhale, massage inside to outside. As you inhale, release and come back to center. Next, exhalation, inside to outside, inhalation, center, let your breath flow and follow the flow of your own breath. Now with the tips of your fingers massaging your eyebrows, exhaling inside to outside, inhaling, release, come back to center, and again flowing with your breath. Now between your index finger and thumb, massaging the upper rims of your eye sockets and following your breath the same way.
and with tips of your fingers, the lower rims of your eye sockets. And then massaging down the sides of your nasal bones with your exhalation, with your inhalation around your cheekbones and up towards your temples. And then with the tips of your fingers massaging your jaw, starting from the top front, slowly moving back to the joint of your jaw, and coming down and forward towards your chin. Just let your breath flow. When you're finished, release your hands, relax your arms. Now a few face movements. So inhalation, lift your forehead and your eyebrows. And exhalation, relax your forehead, lower your eyebrows. And follow the flow of your breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, relax. Next, with your inhalation, stretch your whole face wide and open your mouth. And exhalation, squeeze your whole face towards the point, the tip of your nose. Finally, relax your whole face. Next, we'll do head and neck movements. So, first movement, as you exhale, bring your chin forward, down towards your chest. And as you inhale, come up and back, gently moving back, elongating the back of your neck and Gently tucking your chin as you move back. And let your breath flow, follow your breath, exhale down. Inhale up and back. You can finally inhale back to center. Next exhalation, your right ear coming towards your right shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale, left side. And just let your breath flow and follow the flow of your breath. Your breath is moving, your body is just following. Next exhalation, turning your head and neck over the right shoulder. 
Inhalation center, exhalation left side. When you've done it equally on both sides, finally we'll do neck rotation. So exhale, chin down to your chest. Inhale to one side and up. Exhale the other side and down. the movement flowing the other way with your breath. And when you've done it equally in both directions, come back to center. Now we'll lift our arms up to shoulder level and fingertips to your shoulders. Inhale, elbows up and back. Exhale, down and forward. Let your breath flow, follow your breath. and then reversing, flowing the other way. Inhale up, exhale down. And opening your arms out, palms facing each other this time. Inhale, open your arms wide, open your chest. Exhale, palms towards each other. Inhale, palms towards your chest. Exhale, hands forward, let your breath flow and follow your breath. When your hands next come forward, then palms facing down, and wrist rotations. So inhale to one side and up, exhale the other side and down. Smooth, complete circles from your wrist joints following your breath. Reversing, flowing the other way, following your breath the other way.
when you come back to center, then inhale, stretch your fingers wide. Exhale, squeeze your hands into fists. And follow your breath. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze. And finally, you can just relax your hands, relax your arms. And for the next movements, we'll stand up. So, standing in Tadasana, head, neck and trunk aligned and relaxed, feet about hip distance apart and feet parallel. Rest your hands on your hips. And now we'll do hip rotations. So, as though you're standing inside a circle, you're moving your pelvis in circles. Feel as though you're touching the inside of that circle. As you move your pelvis forwards and expand your abdomen, you inhale, exhale as you move back and follow your breath. Then reversing and flowing the other way, following your breath the other way. Finally coming back to center, resting in center. Now weight on the left foot, right foot up, and we'll do leg cycling. So exhale as you move forward and down. Inhale back and up, following your breath. And then reversing, flowing the other way. And now inhale, inside to outside. Exhale, center. And then outside to inside, following your breath. And finally relax your right leg. Weight on the right foot, left foot up. Follow your breath, exhale forward and down, inhale back and up. And reverse. Inhale, inside to outside. Exhale, center.
and outside to inside, following your breath. And finally resting, left foot down, standing again in Tadasana, feet parallel, hip distance apart, head, neck and trunk aligned. Now lifting arms up to shoulder level and coming onto your toes. Here, as you exhale, turn your body to the right side. Inhale, center, exhale, left side. Balancing on your toes as you move. Turning with your breath, exhale to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, the other side. Inhale, center. All the time, maintaining your balance on your toes. Finally, relax your feet down, relax your arms, and just stand in Tadasana for a few breaths. Feel your breath as though it's flowing through your whole body. From the crown of your head down to the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes. And from here, when you're ready, you can either continue your physical practice of asanas or you can lie down in Shavasana and begin your relaxation practices. So that was uh, joints and glands practice. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, that was again a relatively simple uh, demonstration of the practice. There are other movements which can be added for, for the sake of this video. I just wanted to keep it fairly simple. Uh, but those simple steps and those simple movements themselves make up a really good uh, sequence of joints and glands. Uh, and as you develop your practice, uh, doing a more advanced practice isn't necessarily uh, about adding more or more complicated movements but rather by getting more into uh, uh, a groove and into a focus uh, in your breath and your mind and your body all flowing together. So your breath flowing very calmly, diaphragmatically, naturally, your body following the flow of your breath and that leading your mind's awareness into the experience of those subtle energy flows in your body. Uh, so the practice doesn't necessarily need to be more complicated to be more developed and advanced. It's really about just deepening the subtleties of the practice, deepening your breath awareness and your mindful awareness of your movement in the practice. Uh, so hope that you enjoyed it. Hope it's helpful for you and uh, wish you beautiful meditations as always. Thanks very much. See you next time.